Welcome to JP Adventures channel. I'm thrilled to introduce a new level of immersion as I dive into the captivating world of Genshin Impact. Powered by the precision and comfort of my Nintendo Switch controller, seamlessly connected to my laptop computer. Watch closely as I utilize the L3 button, also known as the left stick, to effortlessly navigate towards my next quest destination. With a swift press of the R3 button, better known as the right stick, I line the camera precisely to match my character's gaze. It's all about precision and finesse, as we embark on this thrilling adventure together. Now that we've set our course, let's journey forth to our eagerly awaited destination. Time to pick up the pace. Join me as we dash towards our destination, fueled by anticipation and the thrill of the unknown. With each step, we edge closer to uncovering the journey that await us. Ready, let's run. Ah, uh, the thrill of the chase got the better of us. It appears we've exhausted our stamina reserves, leaving our dear Yemaiko unable to take flight. Time to revive Yemaiko with some hearty food. Yay, Yemaiko is back. Time to pick up the pace and make our way swiftly. Back to our destination. Let's not waste a moment. I tweak the controller mapping to change the default. I'm pressing B to jump. And R2 to interact to NPC. When I'm in a rush and want to skip dialogue, I simply press the B button. Press B button to answer a prompt. I switch to autoplay with a tap of the Y button. Let's take a moment to appreciate my Nintendo Switch Pro controller, customized with a vibrant Animal Crossing theme, with its whimsical colors and playful design. It's not just a controller, it's a piece of art that adds joy to every gaming session. Time to sit back and enjoy the show as Emiko dazzles us with her acrobatic skills. Let's watch as she gracefully navigates through the terrain, showcasing her agility and finesse. Ops, Yamiko takes another tumble. Taking another glance at my Nintendo Switch controller, you might notice the light blinking persistently. Don't worry, it's perfectly normal, even when connected to my laptop. The controller's blinking light indicates that it's actively searching for other devices. See? It's perfectly fine. Alright, let's take this up a notch. I'm switching to screen recording mode to give you a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to seamlessly transition from keyboard to controller input. Just click the drop-down beside the control type and select controller. From this point forward, we're going full controller mode. No keyboard keys will work anymore. Take a look now notice how the menu has transformed. That's because we're in controller mode. All the options are tailored specifically for easy navigation with the controller. Take a moment to observe the process of customizing controller, button mapping directly from this screen. The idea of things staying the same forever is quite beautiful. Let's shift our focus to my laptop screen. I'll guide you through the process of connecting your Nintendo Switch controller via Bluetooth. Click on the wireless icon located in the Windows taskbar. You'll find the Bluetooth icon there, along with an arrow indicating available Bluetooth devices in proximity. In my case, the controller is already connected. However, if yours isn't, simply press the home button located in the middle to make it discoverable from your laptop. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. 
and subscribe to the Jippy Adventures channel. For more gaming tips and tutorials, bye for now.